Our students, today we will be drawing the chess, the almighty chess, and everything surrounding it as well. All right, let's get to class. All right, first of all, we're going to start out right here, and I want you to take a look at that torso. It's going to play a big part in the next step of drawing the chest. Forgive Darth Vader. He's just here with his hand out. He wants something. He's on vacation right now. You don't get no more money, no more drinks. We're talking about the chest and the skeleton. All right, so today we're going to do the chest. Now, I'm sure that you have seen a lot of videos on drawing the chest, but I'm going to try to make mine just a little more different and informational. Okay, so we started out with the torso or the skeleton of the torso, the rib cage to be exact. So whenever I draw, and it's good for everyone to have a starting point. This is my starting point, oval, okay? So that represents that shape <clears throat> of that uh, rib cage that you just saw. So I have guidelines to, to keep me going in the right direction, regardless of how much I turn or twist the torso or the skeleton, the, 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 the skeleton cage. Skeleton cage? I, I had it a second ago. It, my brain freezes. All right, so I'll do the oval first. I always start out with the oval, then my center line, then the chest. Since we're talking about the chest, it's going to be halfway down this. So you're just doing an oval and a plus symbol. Over top, you're doing another one. It's kind of like drawing a T. If you no, don't look at that, but you want to leave room for your shoulders. All right. So from there, you have the delts, and I'm, I'm actually going off the rib cage. Rib cage. Did I say skeleton cage? Rib cage. And the actual delt is is about as long as the chest. It drops down to the chest is. So under here, you have that opening that you saw. And I just do this little mountain or tunnel, whichever one you choose. You know, and it, it's fine that this is crooked. We'll straighten it out later. But these are the guidelines that I use. And then from this point to this point right there, I draw a straight line. Either you can do a straight line or you can kind of curve it in just a little bit. Depends on, you know, the way my hands feel if I curve it in. And what that represents, that represents where the chest turns and goes up toward the delt right there. That's it. These are perfect measuring guidelines for doing the torso. My brain was, was running two sentences ahead of me. So that's what you need when you do that. So if you turn it, you just use the same, same lines. So if I turn it this way, center line going around, halfway across, up here, this is, the, this is going to be the tunnel. Over here, leaving a little room for um, the, I told you, <laughs> leaving a little room for my shoulders. My delts are going to come here, which is going to be like almost down to the chest. So from this point to this point, we're going to curve. And this point, we're going to curve the chest up like that. Very simple. And then you just do this side of the chest. You have some delts down here, over here a little bit. And then you have that. And then your stomach comes down in there. And then your hips, your hip, your waist, and then you have your hips come down. And you have a quick body. Very simple. I'll bring that straight down because he's not turning right straight down into that house. And we'll talk about that probably in another video. If, if you've been with me for a minute, you should know what all of this means. So using these guidelines, which I call the beetle because I, I, I was stressing when I was young. I taught myself, if you're new to this channel, I taught myself how to draw because back in the day where I lived, we had nobody to do teaching art, especially anatomy. You know, comic what was what was what was a comic book back in you know in my time, so I had to teach myself, and I just used guidelines. I just said, okay, this lines up with that, that lines up with that, that lines up with that, and I eventually was able to show myself or teach myself how to draw the anatomy. All right, so let's take a look at the chest real quick. Uh, do I need to make it a little bigger? Maybe not. If you look at the chest, and I look at things as shapes. Everything is a shape. You can draw shapes. Again, this is like basic drawing 101. These three shapes, somehow, somewhere, you can draw anything. 
I look at this as a shape. So if I take the chest and I do this, two squares, two blocks, that's a chest. Cut it off right here, right here. You got the shape of the chest. Now at the top, do you have your collarbone, which goes across and then kind of hooks to your delts. I'm, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. It is early morning. I do my best when, I, when it's early morning. All right. So one thing that you need to know about the chest, and there are not, it's, it's important, but it's really not important for drawing, but it's just, it's nice to know that the chest, when you have your, your delts right here, your delts are going to come like this, point it down. Your chest comes from one point. So if your delt goes down like this, your chest muscles come from, they all come from this point. A lot of things when you draw are triangles, you, you'll find out. You'll find out perspective is a triangle. A lot, a lot of things are just triangles. So you master your shapes, you'll understand better about drawing things. So as your chest muscles come out from like at right that point from your delt. Everything comes out like that. And then your delt kind of, I don't want to say covers your chest, but it's right there. So whenever I draw my chest, if I ever draw a person, if I ever draw a body, uh, let's just say just a quick whatever. And I draw the chest. I always leave that line at indentation to show where this delt goes from the chest. And that's a bad example because it's hard for me to just draw, just to draw a position. I should have just chose a, a different position, like having the arm straight down. But anyway, if I do draw the chest, I'll have that indentation because it comes around, dips in, and it comes out again. So the muscle cuts across right here for your delts. Like I say, it tucks in here and you have a prominent, you're one of the most prominent muscles are like right in here so if I draw <clears throat> my figure halfway right I'll usually put the little, the little striation the line from there and then also they are grouped it's like your muscles are like this Like that and in between these groups you have these tiny fibers or threads whatever they want to call them so another reason when I do a chest if I want to go a stronger powerful chest because these go like this I'll do this like that and that kind of just represents these the way these muscles connect and they all come from there so when you when you are pulling your arm, you're lifting your arm, <clears throat> it's all gonna pull from at this point here. As I say, you, you have more of a prominent, a couple um, prominent muscles right there. All right, let me redo this because this is, this is crazy. This is a quick, crazy draw. So when you lift your arm up, this is going to go up because you're, 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 you're your collarbone is connected to this, and then your muscles, your chest is connected to that, your delt. So let me start a whole new drawing because this one is getting kind of like screwed up. So again, we have your torso, center line, collarbone. Collarbone goes across. This is the, this is the top of that T. This is the bottom of your chest. Whenever you lift that arm up, that collarbone is going to go up as well. So the collarbone is on the end of that delt, which we draw as round, like that. But then your bicep comes out from under the bottom of that. So it's going to be like this and going into that collarbone. <clears throat> and then your chest. So the top of your chest is going to be connect to the top of this. And the rest of your chest is going to connect to that as it pulls down. Now, because this is square and the muscles are connecting, 
when you lift that arm up, these muscles are gonna pull and go with that. Let me get a bigger pen, see if I can do this. So let's just say, this is your delt. Okay, you just lifted that delt up and here's your arm that goes with that delt. So these muscles being there are now being pulled from that. So it's going to, that chest is not gonna be flat like this. It's going to come down at an angle like that because you just pulled that muscle up and a lot of times when you, you have toys, that's one of the things toys, when you draw from toys, you don't get that because it took me a long time to figure that out. So instead of, give me a pen, instead of your chest being like this and then your arm coming up like this, like a lot of people draw because the toys have the, the ball and then they have the arm. So we really don't know those connections. It is going to pull is going to pull so it's going to pull like that same thing here this is a totally different connection for the muscle and at this corner again it's going to pull so that that collarbone is going to go up because that collarbone Again, center line, the collarbone, you have the little dip, which I, I forgot what that's called, and you have this, and you have that. So the collarbone works, it's connected, of course it's connected to your arm, so however you lift that up, however you lift your arm, that collarbone is going to follow as well, pulling those muscles because they are all connected to that part, so it's gonna stretch those muscles. And the higher you lift it, the more it's gonna stretch, and the less is going to have this shape right here. It's gonna pull more like that. Collarbone and then your delts. So let's draw a chest. Let's draw a real chest because this is just for show. So I'm gonna draw my character, character, I wanna draw my chest. So I'm gonna do a big one. Again, oval, I always start out with the oval because I need to know how big the rest of the body is. I never start out with the head because if you start out with the head, your feet might go off. So because I'm not gonna do feet, I'm just gonna do this and I wanna go, let's just go straight down first. Again, center, half, leaving room for the, the um, shoulders. And you don't wanna do long torso, you don't wanna do too long of a, um, yeah, you don't wanna make it too long. I'm telling you, when my brain goes, it goes. All right, again, where this line hits that circle, right here, and where this line hits that circle, right there, connect those two dots. Same thing again, where that line hits that circle, where that line hits that circle. And you just have to be careful when you make your oval because you see this is more out here and this is less here. But that's usually something I fix. I don't really stress over it when I first, when I'm doing a rough draft, when I'm doing my rough. And of course, at that point, this is where it's gonna curve because your, your delts are gonna come off. And they're pretty much as long as your chest is, or yeah, as long as your chest is. And it's gonna curve here and come up into that. And come down because your bicep is going to be tucked right up under that. Right up under there. And then you have your neck, which is a V. As I said, this shape is used a lot, a lot in drawing. Depending on how big you want your neck or how wide you want your neck, the V and then up. And then these little bits, I'll make that higher to give my shoulders, to give me more shoulder. And this, this circle here 
right here that's left over, I usually put my chin usually touching that. As I said, they're all guidelines so that you won't you won't be out of the yeah, you won't you won't be out of it. Maybe I should just put some music on and, and not talk. So from here now we're going into the abs from here. Uh, you can just do this, not all the way down, because your love handles are going to hit right here. This should be just anatomy drawing. We're getting back on the chest now, but everything has its 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 uh, place for, for drawing, and this is why I use these guidelines. So for me, I'll do this little V again, and then I'll come down, and you can actually bring the bring the um around forgive me if i if i'm if i'm just talking just follow the drawings just follow the drawings bring that around and then where you do this point here to this point here if you make this little circle your um serratus muscles are here they're kind of like on that on that line now we're talking about the chest again all right let's get into the chest this is flat what I do, I do this little, because I have this V here, so I do this little upside down U, and I will bring the chest, drop it down a little bit more because you have more, the power comes from here. It's also the fat is right there. Drop it down, curve it up. And then, as I said, I'll have a um, definite cut here, a different, diff uh, yeah, this is going to be one of the videos where I can't talk. Right here, same thing here. Bring it down a little bit, curve it up here, up to that delt, and then curve it in like this. Gives it a better shape. <clears throat> so the way I have this curved up here, I'll just bring this up to separate, to actually separate the two pe pectoral muscles. And then you have your collarbone here. So this shape is the shape of my chest, because remember I say it comes across, it comes around, dips down here and it goes around into your delts. So if you have this line here to separate the two, it gives it more of a um, defined shape of a chest. So we have this, a lot of times if that's not wide enough for me, then I will add a little more lats. Depends on um, how big I want my character. So if I ink this, in any way, shape, or form, I will have this. And you don't always have to have all your lines connect, as in every line does not have to connect. I can do this and leave that blank. I can do that and leave a space here. So it just gives you a different feel to it. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to connect my lines. I just said I was going to connect my lines, so I lied. Chest, collarbone, you can do the double line. You don't have to because if the chest is thick enough, you really won't see that, but they do connect to this collarbone. Shoulder, shoulder, my neck. The neck is going to come down like that because this is going to go up. It goes up and behind the neck. Remember that circle? I'll put my chin right there on that circle. That way I know it's not too far up. But, yeah. I usually don't do this. I'll just go ahead straight like this and that. So we have this, we'll bring this down, we'll curve around at those at those lines, and that gives it more of a defined um, ab section. Come down, come down. Let's say this is this is my love handles right here. And then I do another triangle right here, triangle, V right there, go down, 
And my first set of abs, if you come around, if you continue with that curve around, like this blue line here, you can barely see, this is where I have my abs. So I'll do a triangle, I'll do a diamond right here. Then I'll come and then I'll do that triangle there, that triangle there, and then my first set of abs. So do, and I'll do it again here where my second set is to have more of a powerful looking character. And then you do your arms. But back to the chest again. As, and as I said about this, you have your serratus, serratus. If you come straight up from the side here and go to this point, down under here, you have your serratus, serratus, serratus. And then after that, you have these extra muscles that come off of those, your serratus, which I really don't draw because I just, you really don't need it. So back to the chest again, at this point here, you're gonna come out. I don't do too much. And then, I mean, if I want the guy to be, the chest to be just bulky, to be like that now if you're drawing nipples if you're drawing somebody on a beach again this diamond shape the nipples will go right on that diamond right there now just because i'm doing your traps will go like this because they actually go around the neck so it actually comes from i do it like this but it actually comes from around the neck like this it goes up here and around the neck. I just do it like this because it's just how I, this is how I perceived it a long time ago and it just stayed with me, but realistically it comes from behind that neck down, but I just do it like that because it looks more fuller and thicker. And then you have that little diamond in here for just an indentation. So let's just do this because this won't be the cover. If you do too much detail on anatomy, YouTube will swear you're, you're drawing naked people. So you also have your muscles in your delt. And then if I need to draw more of the arm, I will draw my triceps somewhere back here and bring it down just to give him a little bit thicker arms. And your tricep always moves, depends on how much your, determines how much your arms, arms rotate. All right, let me draw this from the side, three quarters in the side to show you guys. So remember, this comes up here, straight up here from your side and around to the chest, because all of this is your lats after your serratus. Serratus. All right, so there's your front. So let me draw one from the side and the quarter. And remember, if you lift your hands up, that is going to pull. So it's not going to be, it's not going to be, it's not going to be curved like that. It's going to come down. If the hand goes up, it's going to come down like this. Because again, at these point, at these, at this point, it's pulling, it's pulling that muscle. All right. So from the side, if I did a character from the side, again, I'm going to use that oval. But I always lean that oval back like that, not straight up and down. It's, it's just me. I'm making this a little bigger, leaning it back. Because I like to have my neck here and my head here. Because that makes that chest more pronounced. And if you can't do that, do a square like that. And your neck is going to come down like that, this and that. So basically what you just did is this square. This slash, this slants, and this comes down into that chest. Simple shapes, easy to draw. Then you can take this chin and go halfway. Bring that up halfway if you're doing a face. Of course, you know half and half. Your faces, your eyes are right here. Your nose is right. Your nose actually comes from between the eyes, and sometimes I forget that when I do a profile. And then your mouth, and then you have a face. You got your ear. Round that off, 
you have a profile and the little cranium comes, doesn't come this far as the chin, but it comes just right behind, below the ear. And then your neck hooks to that. So now you just shows you just how to draw a profile. So your collarbone is here. Your delt is going to be here. Again, halfway down is going to be the chest. Here's your center line here. Halfway down is going to be the chest. And of course, you're going to have this. Where is that at? This right here, right here. So I'll suck that in. Your chest is going to come right in the center of, from the center of this, your delt. Because your delt is like that. I'll do a center line from my delt. And remember, this separates, this part separates from the chest. So from the center of that, you're going to have that chest that comes down, hits that line, curves up, and goes back out. And then you have also your lats that come to this. There's that, that, that point again, that that triangle again and then your arms your elbow come down here so let's just do this like that so there there's your arm here's your chest remember that you will they're going to come from here, that point here. So I'm not going to details in the, in the arms and anything else. So the, the collarbone is going to be right here. So you're going to have that, that Adam's apple for the man. The collarbone is going to be here, which is going to be at the top of that uh, delt. So under that, you're going to have that chest. And then here. And then I just bring that out a little bit more. And then down, you can have this because that, that'll curve up. There's a curve down and I will bring my first set, second set, and then go from there. And of course that nipple would be right about there. And then you can have some back. And then that would be the side of the chest. So it's gonna be like that. And at this point, you know that bicep, the bicep is the smallest part of the arm Whereas the tricep is the biggest part, the biggest muscle on the arm. And there's a muscle that is, that is in between the two that come down and go around. And you have a bunch of other ones that follow like that. So and you can have, where do the ribs go? The ribs are covered up by the arms so they would go here, serratus, serratus. They're covered up by the arm and as I said, you can have these, but when I do this, that's the reason why I don't add these extra lines because this is, to me, this is just more, it just gives it more of that powerful side, side look, side, um, side profile. And then your neck muscle comes up. It comes, actually comes up to the actual ear, comes up down around the ear. You can make that neck a little thicker. And then you have... that cranium and this is what I'm saying about the traps your lats your traps come way up here and go behind so all of this part back here that's your traps all right side and then we'll do a three-quarter 31 minutes minus cuts so again oval do it from this side side the line this this circle must match this circle. It's just because it's it's if you paint a you take an egg and you paint a you draw a line on that egg and you turn that egg to the side, it's not gonna be a flat line. It's gonna be curved just like that. So again, halfway, leaving some shoulder. So if you can't do the 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 mountain or the tunnel, do uh do that, do that triangle again. Do that triangle again. It'll it'll work itself out. So again, this point where this line hits that, this point where that line hits that, curve that just as much as that. Now you've taken a flat drawing and you curved it out. So this, you already have this one pectoral right here, and this is the other one turned to the side. So if you're gonna draw a robot or armor, just keep your, keep your lines straight, make, don't make them curved. All right, again, your collarbone and your delt is gonna be right at that collarbone. 
And since this is turned around, it's like if my hand was if my hands were here, I'll make a fist. If my fist were here and I turned it, you won't see that all of this. This is going to cover it up. So you're just going to see a little part of this fist. Same thing with this. This is going to cover it up. So you're just going to see a little part of this delt right here. Unless you have the hand or the delt raised up. Of course, again, here's my arm. It's going to come down. I usually bring this right to the center and separate those delt, that delt. And my arm is going to be here. Again, we separate right at this point. We come here. These are my triceps, bicep, tricep, and there's that muscle there. goes there but that's a that's a different video and then we have this one here your bicep here tricep is behind it again different video so here is my chest you know you have got too many blue pencils right here to separate the two curve it Make it come down a little bit and then curve right here at that second line. Same thing, separate the two. I'll bring it up right here and curve it. I don't usually keep it on that line. I bring it off of that line. So sorry, for some reason my phone cut off. I don't know why it cut off. It just cut off. Maybe somebody tried to call. It's a bad thing when you use your camera and your phone are the same. So what was I saying? Okay, so this is my line here. Say so like this is my the original oval and I am taking, doing my chest, I will have that chest, I'll separate the two here, and instead of going up on that red line, I'll have it come off of that red line and then separate and then come back to reach this point where that line, where this line touches that line right there to give them that more of, a, of the blown up um, chest shape. So then you have your bone right here, the, the uh, rib cage bone. So right here, I'll do my V and then I'll bring this out more and then down. Same thing here, bring it out more and then down. So this is gonna be my first set, second set here, third set. You wanna bring it, not down, I'll bring it in because you have to have room for your love handle right here. And your love handle kind of helps form the crotch shape. So on this side, you have your you you might not see the side of this. You may see just some of the ab, and then later down, depending on how much you turn your position, you see some of that love handle goes down, and then your hips are there. This turned out to be more of a video video than a, 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 a anatomy video than the chest. And of course, again, like I say, you have your your striations from this point. And then you have, if you choose. I don't fill up the chest with just a bunch of the actual muscle lines. I just do a few certain ones. You have your dip here, your collarbone, 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 delt, delt. And again, at this dip right here, I do a V, that shape again. And that's where my neck is gonna go unless I want to make it a little thicker. And then you have your, give them a little more shoulder. And if that is off a little bit, you can always adjust, you can adjust that. Like I said, if you put your head here too far forward, you're like, oh, that's off. So you just adjust it a little bit where you wanna put your head. Of course, I say my chin is always gonna hit right where that line comes up. This is where I usually put my chin. So if he's looking back, because he just looks like he's looking back from this position, or looking, looking more this way, has his neck turned, head turned. Because somebody's like, oh, nice chest you got there, player. And he looked back, he's like, yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so, and again, I'll bring this, I'll bring this out, just do a line, and then I'll bring it back like that. And then you have your abs, and then again, I can do this. Do that, and that adds this extra 
triangle right there because it's just an indentation in the skin. The V right here, diamond here, diamond there. Like that. And I'm not trying to do the abs. This is, this is about the chest. But it's not really much to do to the chest. As long as you know the connections and the actual shape. And you use those guidelines that I showed you. And you separate the chest from the delt. Then you're good. Bicep. Tricep. The muscle there. Separates. That. Let's just do this. Finish this shoulder. Remember that the comes it comes up behind the neck. Except I just bring the neck down. It's just it's just easier, especially for doing comics. I, I don't try to make everything one hundred percent accurate because you're not looking at. There are certain things when you draw a comic book. There are certain things you choose to have the eye draw itself to. Like if I'm punching somebody and blood is splurting out of the guy's nose or whatever, you won't be looking at, oh, there's a, you know, the extra whatever neck muscle and there's the Adam's apple. And, you know, I mean, it looks good if you do it, but realistically, how many people actually see all of that stuff? And if you're drawing, you know, somebody realistic, then yeah, you can do that. But for a comic book or just you trying to draw your character, you have things that they focus on, like if I put armor on this guy, then none of this would have would have really mattered. Or any type of clothes. But it's good to know how to do it. Makes for a better drawing. So I think that's about it. You know about the chest now. Just draw two squares. Two squares. Two squares. This is where my videos get long. Chop it at the corner here. And then collarbone is already right there. Separate the two here. Your delt is here. Your arm comes from this. So this is going to come up, actually come up around where you would have dealt because that muscle is like this. And these muscles are like this opposite. So the arm comes up under there and all you have to do is Put a little V here for your uh, neck. Put you some traps, 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 yeah. Put you some lats and then some funky stomach muscles. And then you have your chest, simple shape, simple shape. Remember to make this, because I was, every now and then I'll still make these small, make these a little longer because that's just the way it is on the body. All right, so that's gonna be it for chest. I got a feeling that I'm leaving something out and I'm, want to refilm this whole thing because I'm leaving something out but maybe not and that's it and then this so if you got something out of this give me a thumbs up and um, leave a comment it could be a small comment good video nice I like it you know good stuff whatever okay a okay or something helps my YouTube channel grow all right, that's going to be it. Again, I said that. I'll see you guys in the next video because I will be rambling soon. And if you're not having fun doing it, it's not fun to do. Yeah, later.